but it's Science Girl. Now, we bought some dry eyes earlier today to for a different project, and with, since we had some left over, why don't we have a little fun? So, um, among other things we've been doing, I thought, hey, what if we put dry ice in chocolate milk? Now, if you've dealt with dry ice before, you know if it's put into liquid, then it will give off its carbon dioxide much faster, creating little smoky bubbles. So, do you remember when you were a kid and you blew bubbles in your chocolate milk? Well, I think we're going to bring that to the next level, okay? So, I'm going to get my dry ice here. Now, dry ice is very, very cold, so never, ever touch it with your bare hands. Always use a tool like I am or heavy-duty gloves. So here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Ooh, it's even popping and making those cool smoke streams. And it's starting to overflow. Uh, never suck in the bubbles. I think that might hurt. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, okay. Yeah, that tastes really funny. It tastes um, almost carbonated, and I'm a, making a huge mess on my mother's counter. <laughs> She's right behind the camera just smiling. That's why I love my mom. She loves it when I make a mess, but she makes me clean it up too, which is perfectly understandable, because when you're doing a science experiment, always clean up after yourself. But look at that, isn't that so cool? So when you know an experiment ends with a mess, that means you had a great time. See you guys later. Go be awesome.